Ah, it's summertime, and you know what that means, right? Having fun in the sun, long nights goofing off with your friends, talking about how Magic the Gathering completely and utterly almost destroyed an entire set of cards. Wait, hold up, what? Yeah, you heard right, and oh boy, it's a story that has it all. Mess-ups piled up on top of even more mess-ups and rumors. Welcome on in, I'm 16-Bit Ferret, and welcome to MTG History. Today, we're going to be talking about the tragic story of the Summer Magic set. So, if you've been playing Magic the Gathering for a while, you might have overheard someone talk about this, or even seen some of these old cards when looking things up. So, what exactly caused this disastrous downfall? Our story begins on April 1994. Wizards of the Coast released the Revised set. This set was planned to live up to its name, make revised updates to unlimited cards, all while cutting out certain cards that were way overpowered and making this set, well, more revised. And did it live up to its name, you may ask? Well, let's see, they miscredited certain artists on certain cards, they accidentally didn't update certain card art that they were planning on doing with revised, and they downright printed cards with the wrong color border. Whew! Along with that, the cards in this set are lacking a very rich color that we have seen in all the sets before this. So needless to say, the revised set needed revisions on its own. So in summer of 1994, Wizards of the Coast re-revised this set. So kind of like a 3.5. Hmm, I wonder where I heard that before. Since these cards in this set are so darn hard to find, what happened? Well, it's the perfect storm of issues and rumors. Starting off with scarcity. There is a rumor that the Summer Magic set was allegedly printed from a single printing facility. And oh goodness, this next thing even I can't believe. They didn't even take the time to proofread the cards, let alone do a test print to make for certain that all the colors were correct, leaving some of these cards being way too rich in color. For example, Channel. You can't even read the text on Channel. Then on top of that, they made Hurricane a blue card, which was not even an issue and revised in the first place. So, barring all these major mess-ups, did they make any needed corrections that revised needed? Well, no. N no, they did not. This was a complete and utter mess. So, what happened from here? This next part, we don't have actual numbers on, but it is guesstimated that around 40 booster boxes of the Summer Magic set actually made it out to the public, while the rest were allegedly destroyed. We even somehow know where these booster boxes went, which is really weird considering that this, of all things, is the one thing that we actually know. They were sold in the UK and Tennessee. Now let's back up for a moment. What did we mean by the rest of this set was allegedly destroyed? Well, there are actually reports from most of the Coast employees from way back when of receiving some of these cards as bonuses or rewards, so that's why the set we say was allegedly destroyed, so we don't know how many were actually destroyed with this. But wait. There is yet another twist in this entire botched tale. The Summer Magic set was shipped and packaged in revised set packs and booster boxes, so when they recall these boxes that didn't get destroyed, businesses and shops sent what they thought was that right there. Some didn't even check the UPC to make for certain that it was the right thing they were sending back. There's a good chance that on top of the Magic Summer set getting destroyed, there was also some completely perfectly fine revised set boxes getting burned in the process, making the Summer Magic set the hardest set to make a full complete collection on. Even if you had endless amounts of funding, you could still have a very hard time collecting this set, due to the fact of how few of these cards even exist, let alone cards that show up in the market. So that's what we know of this tragic tale. Now if you're watching this and you think to yourself, I might have cards from this in my collection. 
Well, the odds are low, but there is a way to tell if you have a Silver Magic card. The dead giveaways on the bottom of the card, from the Alpha set all the way to Revised, they printed the bottom with the illustrator's name and no copyright date. But on the Silver Magic set, they decided they were going to start adding the copyright date on the bottom of the card, which is in white text. We will actually be going a lot more in depth in this about a future video, breaking down the differences in the old core sets, because that's something that can be a little bit confusing to newer Magic players and some new collectors. And that's going to be it for this episode, folks. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I do indeed greatly appreciate it. And if you like it, please hit that like and subscribe button because it helps us grow and it motivates us to try to put out even better content. Now, do you want to see even more content from us? We already have a few videos out here talking about interesting things in Magic's history, like the rarest dragon card and what was the anti mechanic exactly. Is there something in the history of Magic the Gathering you would like to know about? If so, please do leave in the comments down below, and it could possibly be a future video. Anyways, I'm 16-Bit Fair, and I hope you have a Duke Duke Day.